welcome back to the Quick Crop Podding Shed. Well, today this is the very first episode of our new section, Quick Crop Q&A, where we hope to answer some of your gardening questions. And for our first show, we're literally spoiled today, we've got Alice Fowler in the shed. Alice! (laughs) (laughs) Alice, the first thing that we wanted to talk about today, because it's something very close to our hearts, I suppose, is the importance of soil. And I know that this is a huge passion of yours yeah i mean essentially if you want to be a good grower all you have to concentrate is on making great wonderful soil and once you have good soil actually there's very little that you have to do in order to keep your plants happy and healthy Mm. because the soil does it all for you so the mantra is concentrate on getting your soil right and your plants will naturally just fall into place okay yeah dig up your soil and have a look to see if there's any critters in it because the more insects and the more things you have crawling about particularly the more worms you have the better quality your soil is so the rule is if you dig up a spade's worth of soil Mm. if you have no worms and you need to do it across your garden you can't just do it in one spot right no worms equals very dead soil one worm it's okay (laughs) 10 worms per spit of per spade's worth of soil and you've got agricultural grade A soil okay. and that basically means that you don't then have to do any feeding for your plants because okay. your soil is going to do everything for it. So essentially what happens when you give a plant chemical fertilizers it's a bit like having a baby and deciding only to give it um, you know fizzy vitamin yeah. supplements right like mm. in essence the child should be getting all the vitamins it needs mm. however we know that you need to actually eat food in order to grow yeah, yeah. and that's essentially what happens when you feed a plant fertilizer you're giving it its direct requirements to grow really fast but the roots stop communicating with the soil mm. now that has been an amazing thing because for the last like 50 years post second world war you know we saw a huge boom in agriculture because mm. fertilizers became cheap and readily available and you could suddenly start growing all sorts of crops on soils which weren't that nutrient rich which mm. wouldn't have been possibly good mm. enough soil to grow off beforehand yeah. and you think fantastic that's it that's all you have to do you just have to give plants mpk or whatever mm. that you know nutrient requirements they are however what we're beginning to understand is that communication between the roots and the soil is a really essential for plant health okay so when the plant's doing well chemical fertilizers are a fantastic way to grow very fast very quickly but when the plant starts to get into trouble because it's got pests or Mm. diseases Mm. it no longer has the means to communicate to the soil to get the things it needs so it's getting in the vitamins it needs but it's no longer getting the um the defenses it needs to stay healthy and the whole communication system is broken down this actually is a municipal compost that's made from broken down uh, green waste and fish waste actually but yeah it's it's basically like your garden compost and this is great right it's rich stuff Mm. but you can see there's no structure to it and actually plants have roots and roots like to go into something with structure so already you can see the difference between this because it's got some sort of structure to it now mm-hmm. that's largely because it's manure yeah, yeah, and so yeah, there's yeah, stuff yeah. in it but basically and that might be too rich then yeah you know, i mean it very often is but what you want to do is take your soil mm. and then like sort of roll it together yeah. and see whether it has any sort of structure because that can tell you quite a lot so i mean this is not like clearly this isn't garden soil mm. but like if you can roll it into a cigar and it stays together like that Mm. then you've got some good structure and that will tell you also that you probably have some kind of clay in your soil and if you can bend it this won't bend at all because there's no clay in it Mm. into a kind of a smile Mm. then it's a very clay soil if you can bend it and it breaks it's probably got some some clay in it but it will also have Mm. a lot of hummus Mm. in it a lot of and then Mm. if it just completely falls apart like this then it's Mm. a very sandy soil right so that's kind of part of understanding what the what the base layer of your soil is, right? When you think about the soil in your garden, what you need to understand is the top growth that you see is a fraction of the life compared to what's happening below. Okay, and right, below yeah. is this kind of extraordinary architecture. It's like a city, you know, mm. and the, the, the holes that the earthworms make are like, you know, massive channels that allow water to pass through down to the roots. And, mm. you know, there's, there's 
there's some guys chasing other guys and eating them and you know like i say there's yeah, good guys and bad guys and there's just like huge in healthy and is that soil no dig has become such a big thing because you're breaking that up every time you turn the sod you're breaking all those little yeah. channels and that up is that yeah essentially it takes yeah. you know at least 500 years to make um a centimeter of topsoil right wow. okay um and in a teaspoon of soil i think there's supposed to be something like 50 billion different microbes mm. in it so there's mm. huge life in there mm. and and it does, you know, digging is a very, very recent activity. You know, yeah, if you think yeah. agriculture is actually only 10,000 years old okay. and digging in it, or plowing mm. or any mm. of those things are actually a really recent sort of technique. Yeah. Um, and, and yet it, it can, like I say, it can take 500 years to, to make a, just a centimeters worth of it. Yeah. The, the action of then like thinking that we are somehow smarter than the soil and turning it constantly mm. is a good idea is, yeah. is beginning to really be questioned and all the evidence shows that leaving soil intact is the way to make it as healthy as stronger. Well Alice I'm always very conscious of the person at home they, they don't necessarily have access to you know fresh organic farm yard manure or seaweed or whatever else so you know what's what's right for them in their garden obviously they've got they've got clippings from the garden they've got um their grass cuttings they have the stuff from the kitchen they've cardboard paper what's what's the right mix for your average person well if you're making good or homemade compost just from your kitchen waste grass clippings you know getting cardboard carbon so it's just you know a source of nitrogen and carbon you actually yeah. have a very rich stuff you don't okay. really need to like worry mm. massively on top of that however the more other stuff you can get into it the better and what we do know is that seaweed is somehow absolutely miraculous yeah. to yeah, the, it, like, is, it yeah. does yeah. something very magic because yeah. it takes something from the sea yeah. and puts it on the land yeah. and what we also know is that there's always seaweed seaweed has always been high value so when you look at like early ancient people they've always been trading a seaweed yeah, okay. there's something very magical about seaweed right, yeah, yeah. therefore if you like I was to say as a as a landlocked brummy yeah. the mm. one thing that I will always pay for is seaweed fertilizer yeah, because yeah, I like yeah. I think it does something to the soil that you yeah. just can't get elsewhere yeah. so I think if you can get some kind of seaweed pellets or liquid seaweed yeah. or you can go and get you know seaweed from the beach no we have a couple of good up. seaweed products I think if you really don't couldn't have access to having much what I would say is buy in seaweed have a worm compost yeah because mm. Worm composting makes this really yeah. high value, highly nutritious stuff, and you can mm -hmm. do it in a very small space, That's and right, so you yeah. can put your kitchen waste through it. Yeah. Um, you know. And you get the worm tea as well. Exactly. Which is great. Yeah. Preferably yeah. make um, your own homemade compost. Get get hold of grass clippings and whatnot. And then I do think things like this, which is you know municipal compost. I if if I want to, you know, if you're starting off on a new allotment or a garden, yeah. it's cheap. Yeah. It is it it's can be, you know, it's. Perfectly. But there's fish waste in that particular one, that's environment. there's fish waste yeah. in that, which is actually probably one of our bigger selling things because it, whatever the fish mm. waste, a bit like the seaweed, it seems to add an awful lot back into the soil. That's what myself and Andrew put a lot mm. of that on our well, garden. Well, we have, year. I mean, your garden was a lot better than mine, Niall, but yeah. when, when I first started growing here, uh, my, like my soil is absolutely appalling. And just when you mention, yes, if you're starting off a new garden, I would have put a couple of tons of this on yeah. and just just to get that head start yeah. of adding because my my soil was grey, it was sticky, mm -hmm. you know, it was a very dauby clay soil, yeah. and I needed to add some organic matter. And I think that when you take that approach, that you start to see how important it is to look after your soil, and not only your own garden soil, but I mean in the world in general. I mean all life on earth is 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 the foundation is soil hmm. and uh, i think to try and get a little bit of an understanding of this is really really uh, helpful but well, that's why it's been brilliant having you alice on i mean you know, oh, thank you so much yeah. for coming in it's not fantastic. at all well yeah. done for making great compost well, thank you. <laughs> so we'll Lovely. see you again uh, as you know we do plenty of videos in the garden niall does his uh, unboxing uh, product videos in this studio as well so do tune into our quick crop channel again and uh, we hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.